Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the video tag and basically import some video from YouTube in a responsive manner. Okay, so I've got a web page set up. Ultimately, my goal is to display some videos on here that will look good on phone size, tablet size, and desktop size. So let's go ahead and get to work. Um, I do have a page set up with nothing too fancy and uh, just some basic styling on there. I want to work in the body section for a bit and prepare where my videos are going to go. And what I'm going to end up doing here is basically creating um, a div and I'll do a class equals with a vid wrapper and a closing div. And then within that, I'm going to have div class equals vid container and the closing div. Now this is going to serve as basically a picture frame for my video file and then I'm also going to have an outer frame or an outer wrapper for that particular container. Now this is important because we're going to use one in order to size proportionally with whatever our video is and with whatever the device screen width is and I'm going to use the outer wrapper to set a limitation. I don't want this to always be as wide as the screen, for instance. I'm going to have it maxed out at a certain level. So that's actually enough for us to size this. So I'm going to head up here and my vid wrapper, I'm going to set its width to be 100% taking up the full screen. However, I'm going to put a max width on there of about 800 pixels. So if somebody with a wide screen desktop, I don't want this video to be too wide. They'll still have the option to go full screen if they need to. And I'll also go do, put a margin on there, three M's top and bottom, auto left and right. So that's going to set the outer limit or the upper limit of this video to 800 pixels. Now for the vid container inside of that, this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to set a width of 100%. I'm going to do a max width of 100%. Now, remember, this vid container is inside the vid wrapper. So whatever the vid wrapper is, the vid container is going to be in it. And it's filling up the space, basically. And now when my vid wrapper maxes out at 800 pixels wide, well, the vid container is not going to be wider than 800 pixels wide. Here's where the weirdness starts to happen, though. I'm going to set the height to be zero. The catch is, is I can't rely on height because I want the height to change proportionately to the width of this video container. Because as the video gets wider, it needs to get taller, but I still want to keep the aspect ratio. So what I'm going to do is put a padding bottom on here of 56.25%. So that 56.25% is actually coming from the common dimensions of a video. So for instance, if I were to take 720, no, 720 divided by 1280, we'd get to 56.25%. And basically we're using the padding property in order to give artificial height to this particular container. So as the width of the container gets bigger or smaller, the padding bottom will change bigger or smaller, but still keeping in that ratio. So it's going to be pretty useful to do it that way. And just so we can see what's going on here, I'm going to go to my vid wrapper and I'll put a big border on it. Five picks, solid yellow green. And for this one, I'll put a border of five picks, solid orange. So let me go ahead and save that, head over to my browser and refresh. And we'll see that we have this box up here. And as I resize my browser window, notice it's staying 100% the width of the browser window. And of course, as it goes too wide, it starts to max out. So that was pretty easy. And now that this chunk of code or chunk of markup is accurate, I can use this whenever I want to pop in a video, which I'm going to try right now. So I'll head over to my browser here and just pop open a quick YouTube. And I'll go ahead and grab a video. Hi everyone, I'm Emil Stonic. I don't need to play the video, so I'm gonna head over to share, embed. I'm gonna grab their iframe code, copy that. I am done and done. Back over to my editor and then right in here, I guess I'll go ahead and tab it in and paste. I don't truly need their width and height for this iframe. So I'll leave that the way it is. So I've got that one. And then for this one down here, I will use a video tag. 
where the source equals media, and I happen to have one already saved up, skiday.mp4. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some controls on there, and that should be enough for now. Okay, so now I've got these two videos, in theory, loading up, so let's see how this works. When I refresh, okay, so there's my YouTube video, and here my video is down here, but I can see the sizing is way off. So I need to add a couple other little CSS declarations, and I can do these two at once. Dot vid container space iframe comma dot vid container space video. Now these are gonna be a width of 100%, and I'll do a max width of 100%. That one's not too necessary and a height of 100%. But I want to follow up a little bit more. Because of the weird shaping with the width and the height of my vid container, remember I'm using this weird padding bottom, I also want to make sure that these videos, whether it's iframe or video tag, are positioned precisely within the container. So what I'm going to do is put a position relative on the vid container, and then I can do a position absolute on the video itself. And I'll just position it zero from the top and zero from the left. I'm gonna save this, head back to my browser and refresh. And now that we see that YouTube video is filling up nicely, my local video is filling up nicely. And if I were to resize this, there we go. We'll see that it's responsive even on smaller devices. There we go. So that is a bit about how you can embed videos into your web page in a responsive way.